Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to take a look at shooting guns in virtual reality. This was admittedly one of the first things I thought about doing once they announced the Vive and the Oculus. And this little Vive app is called Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. It's really more of a sandbox than a game, if anything. It just gives you the tools to kind of mess around, shoot different guns, and practice. It's also an early access game, and the developers are constantly updating it with new weapons and features and shooting ranges. And as you can see here, the weapon mechanics are pretty darn realistic. I'm holding an AR-15 here, and all the ways that you would operate it are pretty much the same as real life, although it can take a little while to try and figure out what buttons do what on the controllers. But once you start to figure it out after watching a few of the developers' YouTube videos, again, this is an early access game, so I imagine not all the tutorials are in yet, you can kind of figure it out and play around with it. And as somebody who's actually spent a decent amount of time at a real shooting range with an AR-15 or very handguns and different rifles, I can tell you that just looking at this gun in virtual reality is really uncanny. It looks incredibly realistic. Granted, the firing effects and sound effects are not necessarily the best in the world, but given the small size of the dev team involved here, I'm willing to give them a bit of leeway. This isn't a AAA game after all, um, and it's just cool to be able to handle and operate a lot of these weapons in VR. And here I'm just testing out the firing effects and the visual quality of the weapon while I fire a golden mag from the weapon. The golden mags in the game represent unlimited ammo capacity just for messing around in various shooting ranges if you don't want to have to deal with swapping out a new mag every 30 rounds. And without question, seeing these guns in virtual reality and seeing them operate and just how cool they look is really enlightening because it takes me one step closer to playing the game that I really want to play, which is a well-polished VR shooter. There are some limitations, of course, with v virtual reality, and I'll talk about a few of those now as we kind of go through some of the other weapons that I'm shooting. And this here is the Glock 22. I'm just kind of showing off the weapon model here and the functionality of it as you can draw back the top slide just to notice that there's no even rounds chambered in it. And then when you insert a mag and you bring the slide back, you'll chamber around and you can even hold it back and watch the round at mid chamber process. The weapon mechanics are all highly realistic and accurate to an extent where it can actually be annoying. You know, I appreciate the fact that this is a simulator. But at the same time, inserting mags into guns uh, is not very easy to do. I, I find myself spending like 20 seconds sometimes just trying to get a mag into a pistol. I know with practice you can get better at it, but at the same time in real life, I'll never make that mistake. Even without practice, it's pretty damn easy to do. So it'd be nice if the game just gave a lot more leeway when inserting a mag into a handgun if it just sort of automatically did it for you as long as you got the mag up to the base of the gun. I don't need to like manually insert it perfectly every time. It's not really an interesting part of the game to me. All right, now let's talk about some of the current biggest limitations with VR and actually doing a shooter style game. First of all, the controllers do not lend themselves well to shooting handguns. You can actually see that slight blue outline of my controller around the gun itself. The handle is fine and comfortable, but when it actually comes to holding a weapon like you would hold a gun, it doesn't give you the same kind of grip or precision that you would have with a real gun. So your accuracy is never going to mimic real life, not to mention pulling the trigger on this controller actually adds quite a bit of wobble to the controller, which is the last thing you want to do when shooting a gun in real life. Trigger control is one of the most important aspects to accuracy when shooting a real life weapon, and since these controllers do not lend themselves to that at all, it is very hard to be pinpoint accurate. The other hardware issue that I was having is that um, for whatever reason, my right eye on the Vive was not focusing as well as my left eye, so it was very hard for me to aim with my right eye and I'm right eye dominant when shooting. So I was actually shooting from my left eye most of the time with the the actual recording here, it's recording my right eye vision. So sometimes when I'm shooting, you'll notice that the actual sights are not lined up for my right eye. I was switching back and forth between them, but it was just weird that my left eye was more in focus. I tried moving the headset around, but I was not able to quite get it lined up. And that's just something that's gonna happen in VR. It wasn't as big a deal when playing, say the archery game because I didn't have to close one of my eyes to aim in that. It was really more about the feeling, but for something where you're gonna to need to aim down iron sights and close one of your eyes, I found it really difficult if one of your eyes was out of focus. And with a little bit of maneuvering, I was able to get my right eye to focus better, but it's still one of those things where the headset's gonna move around a bit while you're using it. Some of your eyes might go slightly out of focus, and when you need to aim down sights for pinpoint accuracy, 
that's when you'll notice it the most because the pixels are gonna be a little bit fuzzy. Now, when it comes back to replicating the weapons using the Vive controllers, pistols are one thing, but when you go on to SMGs or assault rifles, you're in a whole different world because these are guns that you generally hold with two hands. Now the game does allow you to sort of split the difference with two controllers and pretend like you're holding a gun made out of thin air there, which not only doesn't feel right, but it does affect your aiming and accuracy because with an assault rifle, you have multiple points of contact. You have the stock of the weapon in your shoulder. You have your cheek resting on the stock of the weapon as well as you aim down sights. Then you have your backhand and then your forehand on the weapon. So you have like four points of contact there to help steady your aim. And when we make the transition to VR, we take those four points of contact and we turn them into one with the controller. Now you do have the option to put down one of your controllers, even though the game environment doesn't really lend itself to that that well, but you can have the option to put down one of your controllers and then try and two hand a single controller for your pistol to be more accurate. But still with an assault rifle, it's just awkward holding it like you would hold a pistol. And I think this is just one of the biggest limitations of the controllers right now, the hardware. The software itself right now is trying to work as best as it can with the sort of limited hardware. And I think until we get some cool gun controllers operating things like assault rifles and stuff is just going to feel awkward and unnatural. Now we are using the Unity engine here and it allows the developers to do stuff like add magnified optics to the game, which is kind of cool. It's very hard to aim with these again when you don't have multiple points of contact. What I would definitely like to see added to the game is some sort of like EOTech red dot sight there to try and simulate two eye open aiming. I think this could sort of be a solution to the out of focus issue that I was having and also not having to close one of your eyes since there's a really cool effect that occurs when using red dot sights in real life. So if they added a real red dot sight to the game that you could mount on an AR or something, I think that would be a great addition. Then of course there's fun goofy little things like having Zippo lighters, matches, dynamite, banana, hand grenades. They're just kind of goofy stuff to mess around with in here. Not necessarily the highlight of the game, but I was having a lot of fun just tossing grenades up in the air and then catching them again. There's a lot of fun little goofy things to do in this gun range here and without question It's the best VR gun range that exists at the moment that being said There's a lot of room for improvement first of all the game is just not intuitive in the slightest I mean I had to watch quite a few YouTube videos just to figure out how to unload and reload certain weapons They mix the controls up on you a lot between weapons instead of having the same button for dropping a mag or switching the Fire mode from safe to full auto or whatever they change it on different guns because those buttons are in different locations on the weapons yet the controllers don't really represent the guns anyway so I think it's just kind of weird to switch the controls up between guns it's it's mostly just annoying when you're trying to operate different weapons also if you wanted to practice with any individual weapon like say a Glock I have to either grab the Glock off the bench go over to the weapon spawning system spawn in a whole bunch of Glock mags meticulously place them on my vest though so that I have them in game and then teleport myself back over to the gun range because the table and the gun range are too far away I have to like teleport between those distances instead of being able to just walk over there um, and then shoot my weapon likewise you have to sort of manually load a shotgun each time you can't just spawn in a fully loaded shotgun or just grab one off of the table it would just be nice if a lot of the busy work was already done for you it's cool to sort of learn how to reload weapons and learn the mechanics of it but by the time you figure it out you're just like okay i don't want to have to do all this stuff manually give me a table fully loaded with glock mags and a glock and let me just shoot away and have fun with target practice you actually have to do a lot of setup work and I don't really like that aspect. And then of course there's the discrepancy between virtual reality recoil and real world recoil. Obviously the controllers can't simulate recoil. There are some really cool aftermarket controllers that are made for actual military applications that uh, replace the internals of an actual AR-15 with like a uh, recoil system so that you can use it in VR and it's supposed to replicate the recoil identically. That would be so cool if that was implemented in this game. I think it would make it pretty much the perfect controller for this game. We're definitely a little ways off from that, but hopefully not too far. I mean, the hardware exists, the software exists. All we have to do is find a way for them to work together. I'm willing to drop some big bucks on a recoil simulating AR controller. That would be so flipping cool. And I think that would make this game so much more enjoyable. Anyway, this is a fun little VR workshop. It's not something that keeps me coming back wanting to play it because it's not really a game. It's just sort of a sandbox. 
But uh, every time they update it and add new weapons and stuff like that, I am jumping back in to check it out and see how the new guns function and stuff. Ideally, it would be so freaking awesome if they could build some sort of time crisis game or wave assault game, but uh, that would require a bigger budget, more workers, animators, artists, all this kind of crazy stuff. And at the moment, I think it's a pretty small dev team and they're just kind of having fun making VR guns. And sure enough, it is pretty cool, but it's not the kind of thing that you're going to spend hours and hours and hours upon doing but you might have a bit of fun for a little while until it evolves into something new or more interesting. Anyway, I plan on keeping you guys updated with the state of VR Shooter, so stay tuned. If there's any other really cool updates to this app, then I'll probably make another video on that. Let me know what you guys think about VR and shooters. Is this something you are really looking forward to? Are you not interested in all? Are you just in a situation where you're probably not going to own VR equipment for a while, so you're just not really thinking about it much? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.